Kayla's dad's letting us put it, our tra trailers. We have multiple trailers now, all parked in his backyard. <laughs> she looks like this one right here. Got the square peg right there. Yeah, that's it. 25 inches. All right, we sold an antique primitive ox yoke single tree, 25 inch rustic farmhouse decor, $30 plus shipping. We sold some Hunter Target men's dipped toe canvas lace boots, uh, size 11, I think. So for $30 plus shipping, they're going overseas. They're not here. Hopefully they're at the house because we can't really find them right now. And then let's go over all the other stuff that we sold. So let's first go over a Barbie that sold Hallmark. So for $10 plus shipping, we sell a lot of these also on our whatnot uh, auctions that they do pretty good. They also go for about five to $10 a piece. We sold a heel shaft McGregor Tommy armor putter. So for $25 plus shipping. Then we, at the house, I had a whole bunch of these vintage rooster tail Martin Mep spinner lures that actually came in a, uh, we found it in a storage unit. And I didn't really know how much they were worth. I saw some, you know, sold comps on eBay. So I put them on auction, started them off at like five bucks. They went all the way up to $23.99 plus shipping, which was pretty good. We sold this guy right here. A lot of these sales are going to be older stuff that we've had for a really long time. We've had this for probably about a year or more. So for $20 plus shipping. The reason why we did that was because we did a tiered sale. So Older things were more off, like oh, all the way up to like 40% off, and then newer they were was a less percentage off. It really worked because we have a lot of old stuff here that's still sold. $8 plus shipping for this Hallmark right there. If you look down real quick at the Titleist bag, let me go ahead and move the American Girl doll that sold for $39.99. Um, this Titleist bag, we picked it up at a Goodwill. I only, only for a couple bucks, this is called a Sunday bag. So for $50 plus shipping, we sold a Snow Baby. $7 plus shipping on the Snow Baby. We sold a Hooters uniform size small, $19.99 plus shipping. Also, we had a viewer sale here. Kathy is in the house again buying the Bab Build-A-Bear Pokemon Pikachu. So that is heading your way. Thank you so much for your support. That's a good looking Pikachu. We also sold, remember the um, Harley Davidson pins I picked up for $3 a piece? Mm -hmm. Well, it paid off. This one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. At a yard sale, I saw a whole bunch of those on a leather um, vest, remember? And I bought the vest for 15 bucks, so we're gonna see how much those things are worth because they, they go for a pretty good amount of money. The DeWalt, this is my last DeWalt drill that I picked up. I picked a whole bunch of stuff up for like 15 bucks. This thing alone went for $22 plus shipping. Another Ping Eye 2 2 iron, that's a golf club, went for $15. Some old ink, $9 free shipping on here, so not a lot of money made there. We got some Teva. Teva is a really good name brand when it comes to sandals. Teva sandals sold for $22 plus shipping. These really, if you can get them in really good condition, they sell very well. Some new, the North Face, not new, the North Face Gore-Tex hiking boots, shoes, thingamajiggies. We picked these up for $10 at the Boutique. Remember? Mm -hmm. we picked these up 10 bucks at the Boutique, the Goodwill Boutique. And uh, they sold for $39.99. We had a vintage Youngbloods authentic Western lavender snap, pearl snap shirt. So for $8 plus shipping. We've had that thing for years and years and like literally years. Brooklyn Brewery. $29.99. Remember when I picked these up? No, they were at a yard, um, they were at a storage unit. And mm -hmm. I priced them and I said, oh, they're probably gonna be worth like five or six bucks. We have sold the mess out of some metal signs and they all go for like $30. There were some pretty cool metal signs, but I think the highest one was the uh, Jägermeister sign that went for like 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. So don't sleep on metal signs for sure because they really do pretty good. Patrick, you, so, you bought one of the coolest things I think that we've listed in a while is this right here is a small cannon but it's actually a cap gun because this part back here actually uh, you unscrew this part and this pulls back you put a cap in it you shoot it and it would make a noise so i thought that was pretty cool i almost kept it but patrick picked it up and we do appreciate your support kohans right here this good pair of shoes right here so for twenty dollars plus shipping. We've had this thing for years and years and years. A vintage Disney Mickey Mouse switch plate. Here sold for $8.50, all because of that sale, like really. We sold the new cashmere Ben Hogan sweater that you found in the little bag, 
$50 plus shipping on that. I knew that was going to sell. That was a good pickup. The Longenberger Woven Traditional Sage Travel Mug with the lid. So for $12 plus shipping. We found, this is actually pretty cool. This was, we've had for more than a year. This is just a 1991 Chevy Corvette dealer sales brochure for the C4 Corvette. That sold for $8 plus shipping. I thought it was going to go for more money than that, but it turns out they're not that rare. So it is late on a Sunday. It's probably about 8 o'clock right now. Actually, it's 8.10. We're going to pack all this stuff up, ship it out. So here it is, the brand new little boat. It's new to us, not a brand new boat. We picked it up. Dad actually picked it up super cheap. Had another motor on it. We already had a good motor. So um, had a 25 that didn't work. He parted it out on eBay and basically paid for the whole motor. So eBay works in many ways. Baby. <laughs> oh, they gotta be 16 now? Well, gotta look it up. What you got? Got me a nice little flounder here. I don't think he's legal. No. But uh, we'll measure him real quick. Here. Oh, yeah, he's little. He's. What? That's promised. 14. Yeah. All right. Well, she was legal, but we'll go ahead and send him back. Look at that with the little black drum. Too small, but very nice. On dry land, we did pretty good. Caught three flounder, this guy did. Uh, my dad caught a black drum. All of it was too small, but we did catch croaker. Croaker is actually not bad to eat, if that's what you're catching. We're gonna make some fish tacos tonight. Kayla's over here right now, just rinsing them off. We gotta go help somebody move a sofa real fast. Look, there. I mean, that's not bad right there. That's good enough for dinner. So we're gonna do, go move a sofa, come back, cut these bad boys up, put them in a taco. Also on the eBay, uh, eBay's been super slow. Dad even says the same thing, eBay on his side is super slow because we've only sold um, a couple things. I'll tell you some stuff that sold. All right, some items that sold were some, a ping with the, the ping putter with the sound slot. That sold for $25 plus shipping. Some Hoka shoes, $33.50 plus shipping. A Callaway Big Bertha 7 iron, $22 plus shipping. Then we had some Dallas clothes sell for $17. Then a Callaway X2 Hot Woman's Hybrid Golf Club sold for $69 plus shipping. Some nice Sperry shoes, nice little uh, summer shoes sold for $34 plus shipping. Then a vintage McGregor Blade Putter, needs a grip, $15 plus shipping. An Israeli gas mask sold with the filter new in box, $40 plus shipping.